going. Yep. Gotta but keep yes, it Zoom webinar users can now live stream to both YouTube and Facebook. We're going to talk about that today. And we're also going to talk about some comments that we've been receiving from you guys uh, about Zoom video conferencing in particular. We think with this new live streaming uh, feature inside Zoom, which you can't even find on their website yet. Right. Super mm -hmm. new. You have to have Zoom 4.0. We'll go over all the details later in this video. But we want to answer some of the initial questions and comments that you guys have had about this new feature. But first, Tess is going to call out some of our latest subscribers. Yes. As we introduced last week, we want to start a little bit at the beginning of every uh, one of our shows where we show some love to our recent followers. So we pulled it up for you. Brent Litterin. Amen Resk, sorry again for butchering all these, Camille Kurek, David Fearing, and David Simon. Thank you guys for following us. So we've actually got two comments from Vols Music here. Uh, the first one, he's talking about how they put in a green muslin screen in order to use the brand new Zoom virtual background feature. Very cool. Uh, we've got a lot of experience with green screens, and I kind of wanted to take this moment to show you guys our set, because I think a lot of Zoom webinar users, a lot of Zoom video conferencing users are going to want to start doing something a little cooler, a little bit more fun Certainly. Uh, to add that production value. And Tess is going to tell us a little bit about how we set this system up for Zoom live streaming and Zoom webinars. And I was almost thinking maybe I could go show our green screen and how that works. Yeah, you can get that started if you'd like. Here's the remote control. You can zoom out and uh, show everybody that. Alrighty. So first off, I'll just give you guys um, a look at our set. We uh, wanted to do something that was corporate, fun, and also modern, something that was physical and a little bit different from our virtual sets, um, just uh, to add a nice addition to our live streams. So we started a Pinterest board. Uh, we decided to go with a blue brick. We decided vinyl was the best um, type of background for us. It was fairly affordable. I think it looks pretty dimensional for um, just being a sticker. On top of that, we knew that we wanted some shelving, so we went with these white floating shelves. We got some cool accent pieces. Um, I think green was a good color to contrast the blue brick. So we went with some green faux plants, um, a fun little clock, which we have on the live time that we are streaming. And we just today got our new Facebook like pillow. We also have one for YouTube. So when we're um, streaming on YouTube, we can switch out the pillows. Just a fun little addition. You could put your own spin on your own set and anything that you just think would be good for your audience. I can zoom out as well. So you can kind of see where we are. It does not take up much space of the room. We are able to have our set here. And then, Paul, am I doing this right? Yeah, just go ahead and zoom out if you can with the zoom button. There we go. And, and then um, I wanted to show if you can pan over here just a hair. Um, I wanted to show our green screen. So we do use a green screen when we do our Zoom video productions. Our test is giving you the full tour. Um, and as you can see here, um, it's actually just a pull down green screen. So if we wanted to, and this is just our conference room, so we've retrofit our conference room to kind of make it a little bit more fun, a little video production, and because it's a pull down, you know, it's totally out of the way when we have corporate presentations to make. And then when we're ready to do our Zoom webinars and our live broadcasts, we can just step right over here into our broadcasting space, and it's as simple as that. So. We expect a lot of companies are going to be doing retrofit spaces where they go ahead and put a pan tilt zoom camera in, maybe mm -hmm. um, some shelving and all the things that Tess explained. And we created a full guide that you're going to be able to download. And we'll talk about the link to where you can find that in this webinar. So great job, Vol uh, Vols Music. We're obviously not the only ones out there using green screens. Right. Uh, drop down green screens are super great. And uh, I know that lighting is very important as well. Mm -hmm. And Vols Music, we've worked on a project together where they're putting in some really great lights. Uh, maybe we don't have time to talk about everything. But um, that's our, our first comment. Our next comment, again from Vols Music here, he's talking about the... Um, they, oh, wait, that's the green Muslim one. Where is the next one? Oh, they're both about the green Muslim. They were all, he was also <laughs> talking about how um, they used to use ManyCam and they used to use XSplit. Those are programs that actually allow you to add that chroma key in the virtual background, but now it's a feature right inside Zoom. So with that feature 
and live streaming. Mm -hmm. It's like, what is going to be next? It's the jack of all trades kind of. Exactly. That's what it's all about. software. Yeah. It seems like a lot of companies are going that way. Like we had mentioned Slack before mm -hmm. also, um, you know, moving towards the video conferencing side. And it's yeah. just really interesting. It's really interesting. We're going to talk about Slack next week. Another really big company taking full advantage of whatever they can implement into their um, suite of offerings and Zoom has done an amazing job. So first of all, I wanted to start kind of dig more into Zoom adding the webinar feature here and this is Zoom's Facebook account. So as far as I know, Zoom has only live streamed to their Facebook account. I don't think they've done a YouTube live stream yet. They're still working out the kinks. Still figuring everything out, but I believe you can choose either or um, YouTube or Facebook with the Zoom 4.0 webinar, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Here you can see they were live um, January 20th, and that was just a couple weeks ago. And they live streamed their 4.0 webinar, which went over all of the new features. So if you really want to dig into the features, um, take a look at this video, because ours is just, is just a quick 10-minute right. weekly update for you guys. Um, but you can see that they were live streaming and you can see that it's really just the Zoom, the, the regular Zoom webinar interface. So there's a picture in picture when you're screen sharing. Uh, you can invite attendees to the, um, the video and then everyone, it's basically the whole point of this is to broaden your reach from your webinars, from just an internal meeting with like just people logged into Zoom to now broadcasting to the social media networks, mm -hmm. which greatly, that, that allows literally millions of people to potentially watch your, your video. Definitely. It's about getting yourself out there, letting people know what you're about, and also um, staying in their memory, just making an impression. So we hats off to Zoom for adding that feature. Um, I have another little uh, presentation I wanted to show just really quickly showing, you know, kind of the, the nuts and bolts of this feature from Zoom here. So YouTube Live and Facebook support. F Zoom 4.0, if you're a Zoom customer, you need to update your client to the latest Zoom client in order for this to work. And the biggest feature in my mind was the, the webinar feature allowing you to reach those bigger audiences on YouTube and Facebook. Um, you can see here they're testing out, they obviously have tested out YouTube and Facebook, so they're both working perfectly. I haven't had a chance to test it out yet, mm -hmm. but we're getting a new Zoom webinar license added to our account, so we'll show you some new testing here. Can it be used in the Zoom room? Uh, that was a question that we were getting quite a lot, and the answer is kind of yes and no. Um, what we're finding is that l people want to do live streaming and these kind of higher end broadcasts um, are starting to build sets like we are and use green screens, and they're turning retrofitting a conference room or a video room into a live broadcast room. Um, so. If you're using the Zoom Room client, that means that you have a Mac or a PC running with the Zoom Room software, and you control everything from the, the iPad. Um, if you're doing that, you, you actually need to get out of the Zoom Room software, log into the Windows or Mac, and just launch a regular Zoom video conference with a webinar license attached. But it's easy, don't worry, I know it's a little <laughs> complicated, but you, do, you need a Zoom webinar license. They start at $50 a month, and I was gonna show you guys where we can find that. So on Zoom video conferencing here, you can see here's Zoom webinar. So if you've got a Zoom room license, the Zoom room licenses are $50 a month, and it's really a kind of conference room-based software, and they have like recommended hardware and software for that. Um, if you're using Zoom webinar, that's also well, it's fifty-five dollars a month for up to one hundred attendees, fifty interactive video participants. That is the license that you need in order to do live streaming today. In fact, gotcha. it's so new that they're not even mentioning it as a major feature yet. So we're bringing this to you super early so that you guys can kind of get on board with live streaming and hopefully look really professional with some of the things that we offer. So. This is a, you guys just saw the live demo of this. That's what our broadcast normally looks like where we're using a green screen, Tess is in her broadcasting area, and we're able to produce this really nice live production. We actually use uh, vMix, mm -hmm. which is a software for mixing and everything. Um, but the more and more that our customers are asking to do these things and they don't want to get into these higher end production systems and broadcast software that takes a long time to learn. Right. You know, it's not I'm still learning simple. myself, so. <laughs> you know how hard it is. I know how hard it can be. And um, 
couple things on that note, right? So yes, putting together a production like this can be a little tricky, um, but putting together uh, a system like this is really kind of hands-on. Yes. You know, like you, you hire somebody to put in a vinyl set, you put up some shelves, designing, that's mm-hmm. not exactly difficult to do, mm-hmm. and now you don't need a green screen. And green screens can be kind of tricky. Right. You know? Definitely. It can be hard to figure out the software, to get your virtual set in. It's nice to just have full control, even if you're not sure exactly how you're going to deal with the software part. At least you have a good background. Yeah, and I could totally see people using this with Zoom. So let's say you've got a nice background. Now you're looking really professional, mm-hmm. you know, like some of the higher end YouTubers that you see out there or some even really some of the television studios that you see. Um, the first thing they do is a really nice background. Mm-hmm. So now there's no need to use a green screen. You don't need to worry about little pixels. Sometimes if the green screen's not set up properly, there's like pixels and things in the way. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Right. You look great. And um, now you can just launch Zoom and you're live streaming and you're having a really nice webinar. Yep, definitely. It really simplifies everything. Um, And the authentication into Facebook and YouTube is just seamless. So my hat's off to you again, uh, Zoom, for making it so easy for everybody to do this kind of stuff. So now let's take a look again at uh, the next piece here. So that's how we do it there. On our Facebook page, we've got a quick little um, video kind of showing you the behind the scenes, which you guys have already seen. So the feature does not work for regular Zoom licenses. It's just webinar licenses. And uh, it starts at that webinar 100, which is $55 a month. So Zoom says the reason why it's such a huge deal is because it brings the power of live video on social media networks and extends the reach of your Zoom uh, platform. So there's a couple different ways I see people using this. Um, one is, let's just say you're having a corporate event where you've got those 50 to 100 people who, you know, you want to be able to chat and poll and do mm-hmm. all of those features that Zoom has. And then you've got, you still want it to be a marketing event. You still want to extend your reach. And we're always all trying to grow our social media networks. Right. Now you're making that extension. Right. That's great. So... Um, last but not least, um, we have a Facebook live streaming course I wanted to show everybody. Um, you can go there at ptzoptics.com slash landing slash Facebook dash live dash course dot (laughs) HTML. Not exactly the easiest, but I'm sure you could just like screen capture that and just write it down. Um, or maybe we could even put it in the chat room. Yeah, I was just going to say that we could throw it in the chat room. We do have a couple of comments here. Oh, do we? Should we answer some comments? William Bacon says, you can also create a large canvas image for a background. Ah, that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Um, Thank you for bringing that up, William. Um, You don't have to go through a whole process of the shelves and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. Now, the like pillow is really cool. Yeah. And (laughs) do you have the YouTube pillow? Can we show them that? Yeah, sure. I'll go it's right um, down here. So we can just Here's swap these pillows little. out. So I really do think that these, I mean, these shelves are what, like 20 bucks? Yeah, they were pretty cheap. So they're not expensive and they give you the ability to just like change things up on the Yeah, I liked being you know? able to put a product up here and I mm-hmm. think it also gives some nice dimension. But you can totally do a canvas background if that's what, you know, you prefer. And in fact, if you've ever met with anyone at Zoom video conferencing, you know that pretty much all of them have canvas backgrounds and they look great. And then they introduce this green screen video background, maybe because it's just cheaper to do green screens than buy an expensive vinyl print, maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure. It could be that much more expensive, though. I don't don't know. I wasn't here when you got the green screen. I'm not sure exactly what the price range is for those. That green screen was about $500. As you can see, it's really big, and it's a pull-down, which means it's there, and then it's gone, which is really nice. And I guess the main benefit of a green screen is the fact that it can always change. Right. That is, yeah, that's definitely a big benefit. Piece of right. Art. If you have the ability like us to do both, which is awesome. Yeah. We kept it around five hundred dollars, so that's including this giant desk and so on mm. and, and the shelves and the vinyl. But I think that somebody with a smaller budget could totally do something similar. Yes. Uh, you know, it's just about Yeah, but that's a really good point, William. Um, that is a very good point. So, um with that being said, just have a couple more things in our um in our presentation. I think there's just one last slide here, which is that Whether you're using Facebook or um, YouTube, we have courses on these. YouTube has some, they both have different things that you can take advantage of. On Facebook, one of the things we really like is the Facebook Live Reactions questions that you can poll uh, giant audiences. Um, So so Zoom has their own polling feature. So if you, but, you're, but you're limited to just those people that are in your webinar. I see. And it's not actually displayed on the screen. So you can... Um, 
actually you could use live reaction polls dot com yeah. and you could share your screen and actually you could actually pull that in through Zoom. Let me show you guys what I mean by that because that I, sometimes I feel like some of the stuff that I'm saying is kind of complicated. <laughs> and we have how much time do we have until we have it's about five more minutes? So let me pull up my screen here. I want to show you guys this new feature on um, Facebook Live Reactions. So if you go to Live Reactions Poll dot com you can actually create a poll and you can see we're a sponsor or a sponsor of this um product and uh you can actually just go ahead and get your token key and your post id and then you can upload a picture and all of the emojis that you want to prompt your audience for a facebook live reaction question mm -hmm. normally we do one uh this week we were a little rushed and we didn't even come up with a facebook live reaction question but um you can see here that you certainly can if you want to. And um, it's all web-based. So if you were to go through this process, get your post ID, get your access token, and upload your question as a picture or an image, you can then literally hit the start button and, or the preview button, which is not going to work because I haven't filled this out yet. But once you've done that, you can then, uh, if you were using Zoom webinar, you could share your screen. This would show a live poll basically and the way it works is you usually say hey put the haha -ha button for mm -hmm. yes and the love button for no for an example so that is pretty much our um our show today guys uh tess are there any other questions in the chat room or brooks more murals said i can hack this with a sdr i'm not sure exactly what that means i'm a little less techy uh, an SDR, hack this with an SDR. And that was early on in the conversation, so I'm okay. not sure if that was... Interesting. I'm not, uh, you still hanging around, Brooks? <laughs> not exactly sure how to respond to that. Um, and, of course, we love... The whole point of live streaming is reacting to your audience yeah. and being able to comment and, you know, all the whole process. So we would love to better understand that question, hack it with an SDR... Um, maybe he's talking about digital SLR. Yeah, okay. Like a DSLR um, instead of a pan tilt zoom camera like we were showing. Oh, SLR. What is an SLR? Yeah, William Bacon is questioning this in an SLR. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, we don't know. I'm not sure if Brooks um, is still here. I guess that's really our show, everybody. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, we will stick around for a... Um, post show Q&A but I'm going to roll the credits so that we can take this small video clip upload it to YouTube for our YouTube fans and uh, we will hang around in the, in the post show if you guys have any questions <laughs>